Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. In the news, Tom Hogan, Nikon guru who many of us love to read, says that Nikon is dealing with one heck of a bad PR snowball. Now, I'll put a link to the article below so you guys can have a peek at it, see what you think, or listen up and I'll give you the eight main points that Tom makes of why Nikon has this huge PR issue. Number one, the Nikon D300S update that has still not come out. A lot of people upset about this. Myself, the D700, D7100s kind of replace that, but there are still people out there who want their D300S update, D400 if you will, folks. Then we have no direct replacement for the D700. This has gone back and forth between people, but a lot of people wanted basically a direct replacement for the D700, and they don't see the D800 or the D800E, or the D600 for that matter, as a direct replacement for it. Then we have a lukewarm reception to the D4, as Tom puts it. Basically, uh, it's a great camera, but some people weren't happy with the size of the sensor. Some people didn't think it was enough of an update over the D3S. Some people thought that uh, the high ISO wasn't as good as the D3S. So for what the camera should have been, it wasn't um, as strong in the high ISO department. Then number four, we had Nikon's D800 focus issues. A lot of people had issues with their D800 with that. They had to send it in um, and people weren't happy with that. Number five. The D600 shutter uh, sensor issues. Uh, there was oil in there and other issues with the D600. And basically, Nikon didn't say much about it. And then all of a sudden, we got the Nikon D610. So not uh, well handled. And that fueled the PR snowball, added more snow to the ball. And then Tom points out number six, uh, no higher end DX lenses have been out lately. Uh, and that's a big issue for a lot of shooters that like to shoot DX and aren't full frame. Um, myself, I'm one of them right now. I've chosen not to get into the full frame um, upgrade mill and I'm shooting still with my 5200 happily, although I would like some higher end DX lenses, granted. Number seven, the Nikon DF. This thing's had mixed uh, reviews, mixed uh, reception, and as Tom points out, reviews with uh, like the images but comments to it, which I think sums it up pretty well. A lot of people say they like the images, and a lot of people like the retro look of the camera, but, and there's quite a few buts, and that's added on to another negative PR snowball um, that's fueling on to the big PR snowball that Tom's talking about. Then we have number eight. And I just talked about that in the last video. Scott Kelby, check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Um, but Scott Kelby, that video has gone viral. Uh, basically, it's him explaining why he's left Nikon and gone to Canon. So that certainly didn't help. Somebody of Scott Kelby's prominence, uh, his position, respected individual, has switched from Nikon to Canon. So there's eight reasons I took from Tom's article on uh, why Nikon has this huge PR issue. And then Tom sums it up quite nicely with uh, the end of his article where he says, Nikon, meanwhile, seems oblivious to what's happening to their reputation or that they even have a PR problem. The bigger the snowball gets, the harder it'll be to stop. Someone in Japan needs to get on top of this and fast. Sounds like Tom uh, should... Um, maybe be hired by uh, Nikon Japan. Maybe uh, Nikon should get a hold of him and uh, listen to what he has to say because Tom has always got great commentary. Tom's not a fanboy. He doesn't uh, hold his punches. If he doesn't like something about the Nikon stuff, he'll tell you. Um, and maybe Nikon should be listening to what Tom has to say. What do you guys think? Is this your perception? Do you think Nikon's got a PR problem? Do you think Tom's uh, out to lunch? Do you agree with his points? Do you not agree? Leave some comments below. Let's have a discussion. Does Nikon have a PR problem? Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back here at artoftheimage.com with some new videos, some new articles, and we'll keep you up to date with what's going on out there in the wide world of photography, videography, and technology. Thanks a lot, folks.